of the Friends of That's What She Said. Support BCTV by visiting bctv.org slash support. It used to be great, now it's not so great, but it's still pretty great. Reading. <laughs> Eat pretzels non-stop and pot pie no top. More dessert till we drop. Burks. <laughs> did they really say that? They did not say that. Yeah, they did say that. That's what she said. That's good timing. <laughs> oh, here we go. Just in time for Martha to put her mic back on. Hi, everybody. We are That's What She Said. Thank you for joining us. We want to remind you that you can call us at 610-378-0426. And you can also tweet us at she tweets to me on Twitter. Um, I'm Sheila. We have Jane in the studio joining us on oh, iPad. Yes, we do. I'm the big floating head, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and who so do we nice have here? You, I'm Martha. So I'm Nicole. <clears throat> I'm Sarah. And we are. That's what she said. I'm glad you're here too, Jane. We miss you. We do. Oh, yes. Miss you. you so much. I'm in Detroit. Detroit. Wow. Do you like oh, it? Oh my goodness! It's 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 actually you know it's a lovely city. I've never thought Detroit would be quite such a lovely place, but I I would I would love to spend even more time here. That's awesome. Did you spend Thanksgiving there? Uh, no, I was I I was in Flint for Thanksgiving. Oh, Flint! Oh, oh wow! Oh. And for Black Friday too. Oh yes, Black Friday was delicious in Flint. Um, <laughs> how, was, how was the water in Flint? There was yes, there was. There was lots of water wow. bought on Black Friday. Lots then. of water bought. <laughs> Good way, very diplomatic. How was everyone else's Thanksgiving? Good. It Lovely. Great. Uneventful. Yeah. Lovely. Uneventful. Yeah. Sometimes that's nice, yes, right? Yes, it was very it was nice. Good. <laughs> Good. Did everyone do the Black Friday shopping? No. It wouldn't be caught no. dead. Oh, no. Yes. no. Okay. There's no sale great no. enough. No. no. <laughs> See, we don't go. My, my sister and I, she lives in Pittsburgh. I live out here. So that we've made like our okay. day to go shopping. Oh, so okay. it's not so much like Black Friday, but it's our day. So this year, we had relatives coming in later in the day. My sister and I usually, you know, wake up at the crack of noon and have a leisurely <laughs> lunch and then go shopping and make fun of everyone who like was out at 5 a.m. Right. So this year we had people coming in at once. We're like, if we don't go early, we're not going to be able to do it. Right. So we got there at around 8 a.m. Was it madness? It was not. Wow. It was not. We think we have found the golden hour. We think we're right in between <laughs> the super crazies who are out from 3 to 5 or 3 to 7. They're now home sleeping. And the people who go out in the afternoon are right. not quite awake yet. So we like, you got there was, the yeah, there were still some lines here and there. But for the most part, we went through pretty easy and got some good stuff. I shopped for all of baby's toys and... He's done, and I got some stocking stuffers and picked up good. the phone. Now, my Amazon now, this <laughs> <Amazon. laughs> yeah. right. couldn't have See. gotten at any other time. You what's that, Jane? What's that? I, I said, did you get a deal that you couldn't have gotten any other time? There were some deals here and there. There were. Um, my sister shopped at one store, and there was a doorbuster where these shirts were like eight ninety nine, and it only lasted until noon. So if we had gone later in the day, that deal wouldn't mm -hmm. have been there. But other than that, no, it's it's not so much that we're going out to search for the deal. <coughs> we're just going to spend time together and Aww. complain about our family <laughs> in, in the privacy of her car. I, I read that that was the one day that the the real good deals that be would be on. But would be done over coffee or a, a nice drink? <laughs> Yeah, but we like to shop. <laughs> All right, then, fine. We like to spend money. We took some family to the Philadelphia airport and drove all around Robin's Hood's barn so we wouldn't have to go past the King of Prussia, uh -huh. you know, because it would have been awful. But um, I heard that the, the real bargains on, fri on Friday were technology mm -hmm. and, then, and yeah. electronics yep. would be. It's kind of how it always goes. Yeah. TVs. Yeah. Um, yeah, but then I, I think the big day is now becoming like, Today, Cyber Monday. Right. But a lot of that was a today. Yeah. 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 I didn't a lot of what either. I. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> a lot of what I've been reading is is that you know a lot of the deals maybe start Friday but then continue, continue through the weekend. And they so get there's better really, and better. Yeah. 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 So there's really 
the, I think the big key is if there's something you're specifically looking for, follow that right. and then mm -hmm. see when the deal is. But for I me, think it's just the tradition type of thing for yeah. some people. I, think I have you're a right. friend that yeah. her and her family, they do t-shirts. Like oh, yeah. Right. They oh, yeah. saw a bunch of that. They're all in matching outfits. Right. Right. meet up. That, like, yeah. are you in Disney? That's commitment what? to Black Friday. <laughs> <That> <laughs> <is> <laughs> we, we just go out and shop and then go home and drink. Like, <laughs> hey, that works too. You know, <laughs> do you know, I bought the Hubble telescope for $500. Whoa, <laughs> what a deal. Uh, that is a deal. <laughs> Right. They, they're getting rid of it anyway. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, oh, dear God. Oh, oh Jane almost said a foul word. <laughs> Jane. We have to Jane. That Detroit's up. having a bad influence. We can't believe it. Was, it the the telescope was bleeped. a lovely thing to have, and I, uh, yes, I said $500. What the heck? I'll do it. That's awesome. Yeah, do you Jane. use it? What? Do you use it? Oh my goodness! Yes, all the, all time. the stars and planets—it's—it's it's an amazing thing. I will even spy on our president. Oh my goodness! Oh wow! <laughs> You've done that before. You went to Mar-a-Lago once. I did. I, I, you know, any chance I have to check into his little underwear, I will uh, <laughs> certainly do it. Well, uh, that's, I mean, hey. Being sneaky is good. I like sneaking. Did when you were at Mar-a-Lago? Did you do the hokey pokey? I understand he's not real good at that with the right I hand did. in, and he left was, hand He out. was more herky jerky <laughs> than hokey pokey. Herky jerky. <laughs> yes. Oh my uh, goodness. It was not a. It was not a pretty sight. <laughs> I can't imagine it. Well, I'm not sure what would make it a pretty sight. <laughs> <laughs> hokey pokey. We don't want no, it. No, no. I had trouble with that. Yeah. The witch foot. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Well, my old. one place we might not run into Mr. President is where we visited a couple of weeks ago. Right. Oh, yes. That was a lot of fun. It that was, was a lot, lot of we fun. So my child had a meltdown. Oh, David, he meant well. Or three. <laughs> <laughs> we went to Cherry Crest Farm Corn Maze. Um, and we do have a, a couple of DVDs here, a couple of videos here. So we're going to roll that tape and show you where we went. Woohoo! Woo my goodness. <laughs> Cherry Crest Adventures Farm in Bronx, Pennsylvania. Uh, it was quite a hike to get here, but we think it's well worth it. Um, lots of back roads. <laughs> so we're here and ready to have some fun. Come along with us. Hey guys, um, we have met up with our friend for the day. This is Brian. Hi, he is, Brian. <laughs> Hi, Brian. He is marketing director here at Cherry Crest Farms. And uh, we're really excited to learn a little bit about this place from him. Uh, so, Brian, what's kind of the history of Cherry Crest? Well, the history of Cherry Crest is 1996 we did our first corn maze. So it's 22 years we've been doing this. And today is our final day. Uh, it's Pumpkin Madness Day, which we have pumpkin fun all over the place. You can smash them and throw them and drop them. And we're going to drop some big pumpkins. At 3 o'clock, we're dropping some on a car. Then at, yeah, and then at 5 o'clock, we're dropping a 1,600-pound pumpkin oh and just watching it go boom. 1,600 um, pounds. Yeah. Well, we got it from the local junkyard, okay. so it's no one's car that's on the road anymore. So it's just, for pumpkin it's, yes, right. okay, yes, good, yes. Good. So this is our eighth year doing that, so it's it's a lot of fun. That's cool. Yeah. Um, something I like about Cherry Crest is that it's not just a fall activities destination. It's like almost every season. Yes, we basically open the maze around July 4th weekend. Then we run all summer long, Tuesday through Saturday. Uh, then in the fall, after Labor Day, we do kick back to just on weekends, which is Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, so it does change a little bit then, but it's a, it's a lot of fun throughout the seasons. Yes, yeah, totally agree with that. And uh, we have a lot of fun activities to do, mainly based around farming themes, so we educate people about farming, but then have fun doing it as well. I like that. As, as an ag teacher, I feel very strongly about agro-tourism, and I think this is an amazing thing to get children excited about agriculture and understand where their food comes from. And, yes. Uh, for this little guy, I believe in it strongly too, so yep. I'm really excited to be here today. I think it's going to be great. I am too. Yeah. Oh, it's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> a lot of people here. I can't. It's a lot. It's a lot. We're, yeah, we're kind of very, we're busy, 
uh, but it's very spread out. Yeah. So even though we're busy, you don't feel the pressure. Right. That's yeah. good. So, That's good. Wonderful. And you'll find that out as you travel. Through. How many um, how many acres is the corn maze, and then how many acres is the whole thing? So five and a half acre corn maze, about two and a half miles of path. Take you about an hour, a little bit more to go through, but the best part about it is there's fun activities to do within the maze itself. Oh, okay. So it's just, it's fun, and you don't even realize you spend the time in there. You're kind of in and out, and you're like, oh, so that was fun. And then you have another three or four hours of fun on the farm itself, and that takes up another 15 acres. Oh, my gosh. So it's a lot going on, but you'll just enjoy the day, and... Yeah, it's fun. So 20 acres of fun stuff. Yep. I've never that's been to cool. a corn maze before. No? No. no. Oh, I've never it's so cool. been to a farm before except that's kind of like and something, goes, And something that's cool about this one is they use all um, uh, global positioning to yep. do the corn maze. So it's all like you can view a picture of what they've put in in the oh, corn maze. Okay. It's a design. I'm like, what is that? Global especially, positioning. Well, especially if you go on uh, Google Maps and that kind of stuff. <laughs> You'll be able to see right on the image. It's actually in the field, so it's, it's, cool. it's pretty That's cool. Also, cool. it's it's I agriculture and it's high tech. tech. All right. Well, I'm excited. I need to go play. Okay. We need to go do this. So, <laughs> website, contact info. Oh, website and contact info. How so can we find it? The website is www.cherrycrestfarm.com. Uh, uh, and that's our website. It'll get you all the information, all the phone numbers or whatever you need to call are on there. Um, if you even send in a website contact on there, I usually respond fairly quick. So, and then we have a Facebook page as well, and we respond to that pretty quick too. So that's probably the two quickest ways to do it. Uh, with technology today, we kind of keep pace with that. You can always call, but it's, it's easier to send something through the website. Awesome. On Facebook. And it's easy to find. We went into Google Maps and we found this we were place, lost, but we're not. We thought we were lost, but then it was right there. Right. So two it's seconds later, literally <laughs> two seconds, we're lost. We oh, found no, there it. There it is. <laughs> All right, let's go play. Yes. Have fun. We. <laughs> that was a fun yeah, trip. Was that was fun. a great. It was a lot of fun, and so, Brian was really nice to meet us. And was Brian was nice. Was great. Jane. Yes. <laughs> Jane got distracted. Oh. Okay. Jane. Sorry, I was chatting. Jane was surfing the internet, I bet. I was chatting. That's all right. We okay. understand. Wait, it was funny have, to find Cherry Crest, though. I remember I had here. Sheila in the car. Uh, Hook. Hi. Oh, it's Caitlin in the corner there. Hi, we have, we have, We have Sam and Liz across the room there. Hi, Hi Sam, Sam and Liz. Liz. <laughs> uh, they 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 all they all make me look good. Oh, well they make us look good too then. Well there you go. By proxy. But they're By lucky proxy. because they're with you. We're just in a screen with you. Hey, well, better, than you better, better than nothing. Better than nothing. nothing. Right. We're glad to have you at all, even right. if it is in a screen. <laughs> the internet is a wonderful thing, right? It is. It's a stunning, amazing thing. Well, there's this new um, threat to the internet. Mm. I don't know if you've heard of net neutrality. Oh, yes. Anybody else? What, what, are, yeah. what are our thoughts on this? I don't even know how to talk about it, but it sounds like an awful thing if it happens, what okay. they're going I mean, to do. It's, it's so, just another example of Mr. Trump putting somebody in power who doesn't like the office into which he's been put in power. Uh, well, it's it, uh, Ajit Pai, who's the FCC chairman, he's... He's putting forth this legislation, and the way it's being spun is, well, it takes away the ability for government to micromanage. And you know that we all hate the government meddling mm -hmm. in our affairs and micromanaging. And it was interesting because over Thanksgiving, my husband and I actually had the chance to talk to my parents, who are Republicans. And they voted for Trump. Uh, and, and they are conservatives. <laughs> <laughs> and um, my, my dad was like, well... Isn't isn't this a good thing? Because this is what he's been mm -hmm. he's been fed that this is right. what you want. It's it's the government getting out of it. And um, my my husband, who is in IT, very plainly and wonderfully put it to him. You know, because my dad was like, "Well, this is what they did for the phone companies, and that was great. It made competition." And my husband's like, "Well, that's great, except." If you don't like AT&T, you can go to Verizon right. or you can go to Sprint or you can go to T-Mobile. 
we don't have that ability. Yeah. If you don't like Comcast, right. you can't call up Service Electric and say, I want to switch to you nope. because they have created boundaries for each other. Mm -hmm. They have gentlemen's agreements across the board. So you are yep. stuck into one section. So taking away net neutrality now gives these companies the ability to say, um, well, you like to watch Netflix? Okay, well, in order for you to have the bandwidth you need, right. you need to be in the next tier of payment. Mm -hmm. right. Or we don't think that this website is appropriate, yeah. so it's banned, and you don't get to go to it anymore. You don't get to see it. So what it does is it removes our freedoms mm -hmm. of the internet. It removes the, the very basis of the internet, which is the idea of sharing, and non-judgment of sharing. But it's going to make a whole lot of money for the... For but those companies will get rich, rich, you rich. Bet. When and that's the whole deal. I yeah. Think. Well, what's interesting about this whole thing is that the, the, the whole concept of we don't like the government in our business, but we love the corporations in our business. Right. Yeah. And I don't know if you remember a time when the airlines were governed or were interfered with by the government but air flight was a whole lot cheaper and a whole lot more efficient than it is now. Mm -hmm. They got out of the regulating airlines and it's just gone to hell, excuse me, to heck since then. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> you know, I, now I, we understand, all I understand, you know, a, government a, shouldn't a, be... It's a heckish evening. <laughs> Micromanaging every part of our lives, but the purpose of government is to protect our freedoms. Right. Mm -hmm. And by removing net neutrality, it stifles, it strangles their ability to do that very thing. Right. And my only, my only consolation, because this happens in less than three weeks now, my only consolation is if this comes down, down the line, and my dad put it, or I'm sorry, my husband put it very well to my dad. He's like, what if they decide that uh, Fox News is not appropriate? And so <laughs> yeah. you, you don't get to see it anymore. It my could dad happen. Like, yep. What? <laughs> but it opened my parents' eyes, and they yeah. were like, wow, we hadn't thought about it like this. Mm -hmm. So that was good. Like, my husband did a great job of explaining the truth of the matter, and I said to well, him later. Well, I'll tell you that it also says a lot for your parents, because they are open-minded enough to have listened and said, wow, we never yeah. thought of this. Whether it completely changed their minds or not, mm -hmm. I at don't least know. But at least they were now. willing yeah. to say... Wow, we hadn't thought of that side. Right, of they didn't yeah. know. And I don't they know if their minds that. are open, but they're slightly ajar. Well, that's so. Than, that's <laughs> it's a start. Yeah, it's yeah. A, you know, that. yeah. everybody needs but to be informed. What, what no might happen what side is, you go with? Yeah, I mean, my my, my b only consolation if this goes through is that people who did vote for this current government. Mm -hmm will start to see their internet abilities stifled mm -hmm. and will realize that their personal freedoms are being stepped upon and then maybe their eyes will be opened as well. But I would have to ask how many eye openings do we have to go through? Because there have been so many things that should be eye opening as to our current government and eyes have not been uh, it slowly, has to, perhaps, but, but it has to hurt me immediately. It has, has like to hurt me. Yep. yep. They pass the tax sense. plan. People will perhaps also wake up to some of the reality of what's really going on. Um, or if perchance we pass this whole thing, there's a Comcast decides you want to watch Fox News, then you're going to have to go into a higher tier mm -hmm. because we need to include this, this, and this. That would really be yeah. a a, a, an eye-opening experience for your parents and some of those other people. And yeah. that's that. Except that the yeah. the FCC is now ruled by a very right-wing, corporate-oriented chairman who is never going to make something like that occur. That's true. I know. I'm, I, I know. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out. I mean, we have, like you said, it's going to happen in a few weeks, whether it happens or not. So we'll see. Yeah. Okay, we're I getting the move on anymore. look. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we have a DVD to roll. Roll that tape. Woo! Roll that DVD. <laughs> a delightful situation, a readable tome, and a tasty libation. It's Sarah's books and beverages. So two things that I love in this world are books and beverages. So I just finished up this book called All the Missing Girls by Megan Miranda. What is awesome about this book is I was drinking it with a 
dark and stormy, which I'm not going to subject the girls to tonight. <laughs> so it is some dark rum and some ginger beer. You can mix it with ah. alcoholic ginger beer, which this is if anybody wants it, ah. or non-alcoholic served over ice. Oh. So it's like a sipping drink, or right. I sip it. <laughs> I like that. I do. Dark and yeah, stormy. Dark and stormy. Yeah. I like that yeah. name. Ginger beer is good. Yeah, I, really I do like ginger beer. It, mm -hmm. Just to kick it up a notch. Yeah. But this book, what I loved about it was it goes back and forth between the past and right now. And it's about like a small town in the south and a family and their dark secrets when a bunch of girls ah. go missing over the course of about 20 years. Oh, I love so, it. So, yeah, and it was an easy read. I think I flew through it in like three days. Oh, how neat. And I was reading it at night, not all day. So, <laughs> <laughs> so All the Missing Girls mm -hmm. by Megan, Megan Miranda. Miranda. Megan. Yep. Miranda. I like that. Yep, if anybody wants to too. borrow it, you can. Oh, I'm done. Sarah's being really dirty now. Here you go. Awesome. We have it with your garbage. You guys right. know how it goes. <laughs> all right, roll that outro. <laughs> Well, it's got a Nietzsche quote. It's good. It sounds good. A delightful situation, a readable tome, and a tasty libation. It's Sarah's books and beverages. Fantastic. We should do a show. All right. Things. So <laughs> with sure. the holidays coming up, what's our must-have gift for this year? Uh, <laughs> you, have, you, say, you sound like you have something. Oh, no, I don't have anything. No. Um, but, I, well, there's a gift I'm trying to get for Jamie. You are? Oh. Is it a surprise? Because he's right here. You don't want to say that loud. <laughs> Here, Muffs, Jamie. It's, <laughs> it's been ordered on order for months, and it's coming from uh, China. <laughs> from China, um, oh. Yes, China. Um, and, uh, well, it just hasn't arrived yet. Well, China's really far, so I get it. <laughs> so, I mean, I am not a way to crazy making stuff. China's far. I mean, Amazon don't work that way there, so. That was just perfect. That's just perfect. Except I was, I was at a mall the other day, and I saw it in a little, one of those little kiosks. They so you didn't even have to go to China. like, well, well, I could have just bought it there and saved myself the shipping. Oh, goodness. Well, you well, know. you live and you learn. That's all right. This one has a story. It went all the way to <laughs> right. China. Which well, is far away. Go. That one's good. Anyone else we're, have some we're gifts? little children made it at three cents an hour and uh, burnt their oh little fingers undoubtedly doing it. They and love it. now it's on its way to Jamie. See? With <laughs> love. <laughs> That's right. With love. Does with anyone, love. Anyone else have Always any gifts? My, I, my I, husband and I are at a loss this year. Yeah. We, like, just, we have no ideas. Yeah, I think um, we have so much stuff. I mean, mm -hmm. we're so blessed. You don't really need anything. With, no, there really isn't anything I need. Mm -hmm. I would like to see... Um, <laughs> I would like to see the Democrats take over Congress in midterm elections. I don't know. I think I mean, I'll give them my... I don't know that you're going to get, get that for Christmas. Christmas. You could always ask Santa. Santa. I think I'm going to give my, my Christmas You can ask to, Santa and see if that's what happens. I would like that to happen. I can't think of anything. Nothing? I just would like yeah, right, you know, my boyfriend children to be able about to this. I mean, again, we're so blessed and we have yeah. everything we need. Yeah. So we really... Probably not going to get each other anything. Maybe do something together. Right. It's a, yes. Write a memory yeah. type of a thing. But yeah. No, yes. Nothing really. Yeah, we're trying to put a lot of money into the house to fix it up and get it in a condition that we feel is appropriate to sell it. So, oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, we think our days are numbered in our house, okay. maybe another oh, year, okay. and so we're. I think that's kind of what we're gearing towards. Oh, so it's good. Yeah. stuff to put into the yeah. house, make it look I'm good. I'm sad. I like so your house. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'd like a house. I mean, as much as I love my neighbors, I'd like to not share a wall with yes. people. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, having a semi-detached mm -hmm. house has run its course for yeah. us. I have one. I show you. I dream. I was just saying this tonight to my husband. I dream of a home that has a playroom so that David can destroy it. And then I can just shut the door and forget the <laughs> <laughs> Instead of it being my whole living room where I'm like, yeah. oh, I have Aww. to clean it up every time. Aww, poor so. David. Yeah, and that's the hard thing, too, is we look at presents and we're like, too big, don't want that right. in the house, never going to clean yes. it up. Heck no. Yeah. And, and so we look at things and we're like, oh. Uh, we don't we need just, anything. Yeah, right. can we There's just get left. you, can we just wrap up some of what you haven't played with in six months? <laughs> 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 we might he do some of that. He won't remember anyway. Yeah, yeah. He hasn't touched it. 
Well, you know, speaking of That's David, what he would was, you like? Me? Oh, I don't need anything. And, you know, I don't yeah, really yeah, do I know. Christmas. I think we're all in the same. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, you yeah. Know. I need nothing. I'm good. If I need it, I'll <laughs> run to the store and grab it. <laughs> if I think of something, I'll just get it myself. Um, you know, speaking of David, you know, and he was with us at the corn maze, and we have another video here for the corn maze, so let's roll that tape. Nicole? I'm a, I'm a corny cob. <laughs> Nicole can ride some. I'm a corny cob. Very <laughs> nice. And David's a We're tiny tassel sprout. Top. I'm tassel top too, I think. And I'm not. Very Yay! Very <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I'll ride the short people uh, rides with you. Thanks. <laughs> you want to feed them? <laughs> that is terrifying. I've never been this close to a turkey. Oh, look at the baby turkey. Is that a baby? I don't think he's hungry yet. No, he doesn't look interested. Mm. I'm going to look up this one. Oh, they are three. Okay. Are they babies? No. Okay, what is it? Yeah, the male is usually so scary. Look at the power. Here's the key to the farm. About every hour, right out here. There's all kinds of entertainment out the back patch. That's on the back. There you back up there. You got it. Martha was holding a chick and she said, Do you want to hold it to me? I said, No. And I turned away. And, like, <laughs> and everyone was with the chick. I was afraid. I didn't want it to poop in my hand. I didn't want to squish it. They're so fragile. Meanwhile, now, see, David I was like, It was a corn dog. You didn't want to poop in your hand. No, the corn dog was allowed in my hand. I did hold the oh, corn dog. Right. <laughs> that was a good corn dog. <laughs> it was food was great. The yeah. food it was great. really good. Jamie and I split a whoopie pie, a pumpkin whoopie pie. It was good. Right. Mm -hmm. It was messy. <laughs> As Sheila, they meant to be. Yes. it's a whoopie pie. A whoopie pie. I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was, and it was amazing. <laughs> it was <Excellent>. authentic. <laughs> now, when we were at the farm, they had a lot of pumpkin stuff, but there was also some Christmassy looking things there. Right. So when, when is too soon to decorate for, for Christmas? Halloween. Halloween? The day after <laughs> Halloween, yeah. absolutely. Yep. So many people, as soon as Halloween is over, it's Christmas time. It's like they're it's wrong. Yeah. They are wrong. Yeah, well, they, we didn't even have can, Thanksgiving. You can decorate for Christmas the day after Thanksgiving. Yep. Well, what about countries that don't celebrate Thanksgiving? Like we have that. So they celebrating Christmas. They started, they started then? with Advent. They started, they started with, Advent. with Advent. Okay. Right. Okay. Advent. With is which is. Well, if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, why would you bother with Christmas? Is because this is American. Oh, it's Thanksgiving American. American. Yeah. Okay. American. I don't celebrate anything, so I'm, I'm genuinely <laughs> asking. I'm trying to be ignorant here. You can go I'm anywhere in the world. Curious. <laughs> and you'll be there. It's, <laughs> it's fall y'all up until Thanksgiving, and then it's, you know, holly jolly time. Mm -hmm. 
Did you really say that? I did. It's fall, Except y'all. This That's year so was cute. really early. Thanksgiving was really early. Ooh, pardon me. So, you know, well, Jade is getting tired. Mm -hmm. starts a Sunday I after am. Thanksgiving. I am. Are you drinking yeah. this chocolate year wine like we are? This coming Sunday. Yeah, I, so it's, I was, it's I was off this year. Well but, before yeah. you even start. I started putting up. <laughs> you guys go wild with your decorations or outside? Yeah. yeah. Like outside. Oh, they have a, yeah. They have an inflatable like Santa. Not yet. But it's coming. I'm going to take David to Lowe's or something, and he's going to get to pick out an inflatable something. But he's into it, too. Uh, keep it excellent. inflated all the time. Oh, yeah. They're well, awful to see them you die. You should take David oh, yeah. to Green's Mill. <laughs> you know? And that's then what we that. do with our Halloween ghost. Jane said you should take David to Green's Mill. Yeah, we've yeah. been there. Yeah, we've been there at the, the light display. Yeah, yeah this year we're going to do um, the Strasburg Railroad. Fun. Um, there's a oh, Santa wonderful. train where Santa comes through every car, and right. um, so we're excited for that. So That's yeah, we fun. try to do. And the municipal stadium has a thing every Friday night. It's supposed to be really first, nice. First Energy, First Energy Stadium. No, municipal. Oh, municipal stadium. stadium. Oh yeah. First Energy does well, something too, which is pretty good. Well, I don't know. Is that municipal? What is where the Phillies play? That is it. Yes, yes. That's yeah. First okay. Energy. Okay. <laughs> surprise. <laughs> Whatever. And speaking oh, of surprise, it oh, is our oh, time for I'm surprise there, topic. How's the Christmas tree in Reading? It's they cute. put that up weeks and weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Weeks ago. It looks good. I work Full. right outside of the tree, like right by the tree, and it looks good. Pl oh, that's right. Bountiful. <laughs> we will not be national news this year. Not this. Well, year. hopefully not for that. But it's not an for artificial. <laughs> it's an artificial tree. Who puts up an artificial tree? Someone who wants it to last forever. No, mine's artificial. It's two foot oh, no, tall. No, no, no. Ours is too. But you don't live like in outside. cities. Yeah. <laughs> but well, not, I mean, they made such a big mistake the one time. So <laughs> I guess yeah, yeah, I'm sure they're, they're just trying to write a wrong. Tree. <laughs> I got you. I like it. I think it looks good. I thought it looked good. All right, we have a surprise topic. So mm. roll that tape. And decorate. Oh, That's awesome. Where she wrapped it in saran wrap. Oh, Nicole, okay, you're up. okay, it's mine. <laughs> All right. So I've been really into watching these Netflix shows. Um, oh, me too. I got into watching the confession tapes, oh. which is incredible, by the way. It's a series on um, how confessions are used in in courtroom, mm -hmm. but a lot of times the confession is coerced False. and uh, yeah and, and and not accurate and so it's you know how these people were possibly wrongly accused and so there's that one and then recently i started watching um alias grace um which is based on a margaret atwood book and it's about this um woman this irish woman in um 19th century toronto i think who is accused of killing her master and her um and her master's mistress, who is also a servant there, and how she doesn't recall, you know, the murderers right. are being involved and stuff right. like that. So it got me thinking, is there something in your life where you were wrongly accused for having done it and you didn't do it? Or is there something that happened that you were accused of that you can't remember if you did it or not? So for example, when I was <laughs> five, my grandmother yelled at me for putting water in her perfume. And I could not remember doing this thing, mm -hmm. but she was so sure that it was me that had done it. Ooh, I have, I have, one. <laughs> I have one. I'm still bitter about it to this day. <laughs> so my mom used to work sec, uh, third shift. So when she would come home, she would go to sleep. And my sister and I, we were younger. My sister was probably like 16. I was like maybe 9, 10. And we weren't allowed to go through the house while she was sleeping because we would make noise. So my sister went upstairs and had a piece of blueberry pie and comes downstairs with it. And I'm like, we're not allowed to go upstairs. And she's like, well, what mom doesn't know won't hurt her. I got blamed for eating the blueberry pie and going uh -huh. up the stairs. <laughs> I'm now 38 years old and I'm still upset about this. <laughs> I haven't talked to my sister in years. <laughs> Sarah's still mad. I'm like, Ooh, sorry. That's so funny. There we go. There we go. That's hysterical. What about you, Jane? Um, I, I, I honestly can't think of anything other than uh, one one time I was doing laundry at the bro in my mother's brothel, and uh, well, I I accidentally put bleach in there, and uh, oh no, the ladies the ladies brassieres turned uh, all sort of white and mottled, and <laughs> whoops. At least they were clean. Exactly. 
at least they were clean. They don't have to be pretty. <laughs> Indeed. One can always buy dye if they want to make it back to what it was. That's but, correct. Um, uh, I, I owned up to it, but... Uh, mm. <laughs> at least you owned up to it. Indeed. I, I did hide for a while, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were scared. I get that. <laughs> what about you, Martha? Anything? No. I, I, I did Martha was perfect. No, no I wasn't. But oh. I had, my mother constantly accused me of things that I hadn't done. So oh. that's kind of a touchy subject for okay. me. My mother oh, really? a little problem with reality at times. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, I yeah, so no. usually if I got blamed for it, I did it. So, <laughs> I, uh, it I got blamed for it probably because I was not slick, slick enough not to get caught. So, <laughs> whatever, I did it. <laughs> All right, roll that out. Uh. Uh. I was a whore and I was a... You know, oh no! <laughs> speaking <laughs> of you know <laughs> things that you know, speaking of being blamed for stuff, how do we handle family drama? Oh. Uh, especially around the holidays, like I just this is told the time you when families you know mm -hmm. convene and stuff. How, how do we handle that drama? One hopes they're all dead. Well, <laughs> well, that's one way to do it. Well, indeed. Well, yeah. Nicole yeah. uses wine. <laughs> I allow a one Lots night. It you can visit trip. me for one night, and then you got to go home. You've I gotta think, be gone. I think if you have, and I mean, I in my family, we're all pretty much of the same political persuasion. I went to a big, a, kind of an adopted family reunion last night that was wonderful with all my sons, cousins, uh, Richards and cousins, and, and they're all kind of of the same mind. So that's no problem. But I think if you're going to have a dinner that you know they're different, like Nicole's parents don't have the same political thinking that Nicole and her husband do, then there has to be, there have to be some limits mm -hmm. set. There's okay, no then we're talk about no talking that. about religion or no talking about politics or whatever. Um, I think that's the only way it can, mm -hmm. it can work if you, you just have to set some rules and boundaries. Yeah. My parents have been weirdly silent about things. So they're rethinking things I'm, maybe. I, I, I think possibly think. I don't know. I, I don't give them that much credit just yet, but <laughs> po possibly. Possibly. Wow. Well, they're not talking the talk, so that means they might be listening a little. Mm. It'd be nice. Yeah. It'd be ni I mean, they possibly. listen to our net neutrality talk, so maybe, maybe there's a crack. <laughs> maybe there is. Maybe there's some eye opening there. Yeah. Well, speaking of eye opening, Jane, don't we have an interview from you? I think we do. Okay, because I think um, you're interviewing someone from The Wizard of Oz, yes? Oh, my goodness, yes. I, I came out from under Kirk's bus seat, and I did this <laughs> interview. So roll that tape. I'm here with Kathy Kyman, who's playing Dorothy in the national tour of The Wizard of Oz. And uh, I've not really had a chance to talk with her because, as you know, I'm Kirk's assistant on the tour, but he makes me stay under the seat. Uh, so I never actually get to meet anyone, and when they're doing shows, I have to go do his laundry. I've never seen a man want jockey shorts hand laundered. It's just oh it's disturbing. Yes. yes, there's something you didn't know about, oh, did you? Um, oh, wait. Is, are the, are the, is the foliage in the shot? Oh, my goodness. Wait. Oh. We must have. Oh. There we go. Now it's fall. Autumnal, yes. We're in autumn now. <laughs> Do you have a, what have you done before this? Um, well, I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, so I've done a lot of stuff from there. Um, I did a lot of work with the Children's Theater there. This is really my first gig outside of hometown. So. Oh, well, that's yeah. certainly a nice jump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and uh, who is, uh, to, tell us, what, what do you think about the show? I mean, just give us a little, not that anyone doesn't know the story of Wizard of Oz, but, <laughs> but tell us a little bit about Wizard of Oz. Uh, well, um, the Wizard of Oz, I mean, it's such a classic, almost everybody's seen the movie, um, and the good thing about our show is it is very true to the movie, um, but there's so much more. Like, there's a lot of a lot more musical elements. We have a lot of really nice choreography. It's very, 
big and extravagant with our special effects. Uh, it's a really good time. Oh. <laughs> now, you have, of course, the most wonderful song in the world. I but what so. was it? It was voted number one song by the American Film Institute. That's right. And it was almost cut out of this, out of the movie. I did hear that. Yes, it's I crazy. Mean, to how think could about. you do that? I, I know. Mean, uh, well, would, could, would you, could you could uh, you could you uh, indulge me and uh, and do a duet with the, uh, the, 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 the yes <laughs> that the, song with the, me? The, that song. What's that song again? <laughs> oh, somewhere over the <laughs> Something rainbow. Something over the rainbow. Yes, of course. You start, and then I'll. Just jump in. I will. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high, there's a man that I heard of once in a lullaby. Over the rainbow, skies are blue. Birds fly over that rainbow. <laughs> that's wrong. That's totally wrong lyrics, aren't they? It's all I right. messed it up the, the lyrics. Okay. Someday I'll wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me. Where troubles melt like lemon drops away above the chimney tops. That's where you'll find me. Do the big finish? Sure. Let's do it. Here we go. Here it comes. <laughs> if happy little bluebirds fly beyond the rainbow, why, oh, why? <laughs> Thank Beautiful. you for indulging an old lady. That was <laughs> oh my goodness! And your voice is just gorgeous. And, and and I've heard. I mean, you 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 really channel Judy Garland. You, I, you seem you seem to embody her so beautifully. Um, Thank you. Uh, and she's. I tried to. Yes, it's just doing a show in that style. I mean. There's just a whole, it's just a whole other style. You have to keep that in mind and certainly not trying to um, copy Judy Garland or anything because nobody Indeed. can do that, but <laughs> no, but, but definitely it, paying homage to her. Indeed. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's not like you're trying to impersonate Judy Garland. Right. You're just, you, you really feel that you understand how that character should be played mm -hmm. and you do it very well. Thank you. Thank you for taking time with me. Of course. Um, this has been a joy. It's lovely. And thank you for singing with me and oh. enjoying the fall foliage. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> All Anytime. right. And you have a show tonight, don't you? I do, yes. Oh. Rock. And we're playing Reading, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. where this is going to be broadcast. Um, I think it's uh, January 17th and 18th at the Santander Center. Uh, so go online and check it out and, oh, yes. and get tickets there. So thank you for being with us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh Jane. my goodness! So good to finally come out of the un, from under the bus seat and oh, meet you. Yes. <laughs> nice to meet All you. right. Take care. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> that was fun. That was really yeah. nice. That was really cute. Yes. Jane forgot the and words, but you know what? That was still beautiful. <laughs> oh well, you know, my mind—it's old. <laughs> um, Mine too. But what I do have to say is, it's a wonderful, wonderful show. And uh, we played in Detroit for three performances, and we had over 4,000 people at each performance. Wow. That's uh, marvelous. Uh, which, was, which was stunning. 
Um, so I, I hope the people of Reading come out and see uh, The Wizard of Oz because it's The Wizard of Oz and it's right. quite charming and lovely and wonderful. I love The Wizard of Oz. We'll be there. Agreed. Yep. The Wizard of Oz. I mean, they had that right. funny weather with the tornadoes. <laughs> what, what do we think about weather? Right. Uh, what do we do? We like tornadoes. We like hot weather, cold weather. Like fall. I, I love, love fall. fall. I like fall. I like spring. Long sleeve shirt wearing. No, you know what? I, I notice the older I get, I cannot take the extreme heat or the extreme right. cold. I get really. Except I can my always get bones. warm. I can't always get cool. Truth That's in the really summer, nice. and I find that really difficult. I, I just, used, to, yeah, I used to agree with that, but now, in the last year, year, I developed this thing where when I get cold, I break out in hives. Oh gosh! Yeah. Wow! And and um, yeah, so like if I'm walking on a cold mm -hmm. floor, my feet wow. will start to like swell, mm -hmm. and really, if if it's cold outside, my hands will swell. Ew! And yeah, so the cold is not really my pal anymore. Yeah, not um, mine and I. For the first time in years and years, this summer, I was like, I'm chill with oh, summer. Yeah. <laughs> like, I oh, like wow. summer. No, I'm not no. breaking out in hives. This is yeah, fantastic. Wow. Yeah, and like the one, good. Yeah, I was in um, a really cold building over the summer, and I started breaking out in yeah. hives. I used to have my so. sister. Is that what they mean by chill blames? What are chill blames? Isn't that something? I don't like know what that is. Heard of that. It's, yeah, I think Mine. that's like something you get from... Some skin condition oh, from yeah. being Chill really cold. Blame. Maybe that's what you had. I had no Maybe. idea. I what what I found was something called cold urticaria. So whoa, yeah, that's not fancy. Chill blame. Yeah, I know. It's I know. But but yeah. So the whole I can always get warm thing usually comes at a pretty high yeah. cost for me. <laughs> well, I'm glad that it was semi warm the day we went to Cherry Crest Farms. Yeah, we had a perfect, perfect day. It, it was, was a beautiful perfect. day. And we and have one more video too. from Cherry Crest Farms. So All let's right. Roll that tape. See if David tantrums in this one. <laughs> Okay, so we just witnessed an 1,100 pound pumpkin dropped on top of the car. It's a mess here. There's chunks of pumpkin everywhere. Over there we have people smashing pumpkins, but behind us there's pumpkin pieces all over the place. It's a mess here, but it was really cool to watch. All over the car. All over the car. Well, Take look, a look. Here it is. Oh, uh, bye car. The forklift is taking the car away. <laughs> yeah. We're surveying the damage. Yeah, and later I think out, we're going to have a huge out, pumpkin. Like, it went out like... Like, it went out like, really like far. We didn't it make it up the hill in time to see it up close and personal, but we heard it, and it was loud. <laughs> so they're going to what? Drop it. It was an 1,800-pound pumpkin? 1,800 pounds. 1,800 pound so pumpkin. 1,100 pounds was just the medium. This was just the start. So we're going to have a huge pumpkin later on. Should be fun. Okay, so we are here with a 1,613-pound pumpkin. I didn't know if it was real, but it is because I just touched it and actually standing behind it, I can smell it. It's pretty disgusting, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but this thing is gonna be dropped, I believe, later on tonight, so we should be able to stick around and see it grow up. It's gonna be pretty cool. Aww. Should I give you, you try? You wanna try? Go ahead. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the cup and runs. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, here, hold it in your hand. Yeah, she's... Oh, okay. Well, here, do you, I wouldn't do it again. Well, you, you stay there. Do... I'll give you something here that's real, really good. Oh! Ooh. How about that? Oh, don't kick, don't kick. Hi, Goaty. David, here. 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 Put this in your hand. <laughs> she liked that. Here. Try some more. Put your hand out. <laughs> what do you think? Is that pretty good? Yeah. Aww. Oh, she likes the corn. Mm -hmm. Just like you. Oh, you yeah. corn too, huh? There's the yeah. last, last of it here. There you go. Perfect. Oh, look at your Good job. <laughs> All right, we're getting ready to go into the corn maze. It's five acres, five acres of corn maze. I might lose my child. We'll try to, I think I lost him just now. But I can't stop touching the corn. This is real. Sheila's never seen corn this close before. Not until it hits my face. And there goes the train. <laughs> Oh, we made it. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm exhausted. But it was so much fun. All this corn out there. It's a lot of corn. It was just so much fun. Such a great day. Thank it says you it's so much, Nicole. Yeah. Your idea. It says it's two and a half miles, but I think we walked five. I think so. Uh, <laughs> I think so. But it's cool up on this platform now. You see everything. See what we went through. <laughs> yeah, it's so much fun. It's a good time. Good time. It's been a great day. It's been so much fun. A lot it's of fun. So much fun. A perfect fall day. It was. We'll have to do this again next year. Agreed. Thanks Absolutely. for joining me today, ladies. It's been so much fun. Thanks for having all kinds of cool, cool things. Corn dogs. Uh, we got to watch a pumpkin fall. Right. That's cool. That's the the feet corn and maze was amazing. Epic. <laughs> <laughs> and now David and I are going to head over to the. Uh, the little children's area and let him play for a bit and then uh, hopefully he'll just pass out on the way home. <laughs> Wish you could have all been with us. It would have been a great time. It has been fun. Did you have fun, we'll David? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a thumbs up day. <laughs> Guys, we have a little confession for you. <laughs> We didn't go through the corn maze. <laughs> we, we took video at the beginning. We, we're and just then we really exit. good actors. Martha was exhausted yes, from that. <laughs> we did not go through the corn maze. It was not exhausted. We are too pretty for that. <laughs> so no he corn maze. He was so bitter. He's like, Mommy, why aren't we going through the corn maze? Because it was he long. So it was a long that. trip. <laughs> Next time. I am going. Someday I will go through the corn maze. I will too, Good. when I have better shoes. I didn't realize that ah. farm was full of broken pumpkin and worms. <laughs> I've never been to a farm before. I'm there with my Uggs like, like why isn't Morbid paved? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Sheila, you had never seen corn grow I, before. No, I was like, this is real corn. This is corn really yeah, corn but it's not the grows. one you eat. I didn't know. I, I didn't know there was multiple That's, types of corn. I, I thought it was like there corn are was corn, hundreds right? of varieties of corn. Right. If I can do it in heels, you can do it in whatever shoes you own. I'll wear exactly. heels too, but just not. Oh, right. We'll do it next year. We'll do it next year. Next right. year. Next year it'll happen. Yes, and this time we'll really do it. <laughs> and David did not pass out on the ride home. I would like to share that information. No, he, oh. he, he <laughs> said the funniest thing. He said Nicole asked him if he wanted chicken nuggets and fries. He said, No, I want fries and chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> and he was serious. He meant he that. Was he was mad. I was like, honey, you're hungry. Do you want chicken nuggets and fries? No, mommy, I don't. I want just fries and chicken and nuggets. Chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> and she just starts laughing. I'm like, stop it. Stop laughing. Stop it. <laughs> well, I mean, that's every kid's favorite thing to eat. What's our favorite things to eat or cook during the holidays? I mean, we... It's, we just had our Thanksgiving mm -hmm. holiday, so yeah. there's Anything a lot of food that I, involved After with I that. cooked Thanksgiving dinner, anything I can eat in a restaurant afterwards. Yeah. I hear that. <laughs> Perfect. I hear that. I'm a fan of the Perfect. leftovers. My friend and I, we just did, a, you know, leftovers Goodness. rolled up in croissants. We that did was, that too. Oh, so good. It was so good. Yeah. Um, I'm not a huge turkey person. Mm -hmm. I make this really good honey mustard ham. Nice. Oh, um, nice. So that's, I don't get to make anything for Thanksgiving because mm -hmm. my mother gets to be the... <clears throat> um, Chef. Crazy person on that meal. Right, um, let her do it. Yeah. We had five pies. We had pumpkin, cherry crumb, apple, mince, or not mince. 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 Um, we have two minutes left. Pecan you saw and shoe fly. Five oh, pies. Shoe like fly. We're still no. eating pies. But yeah, I'm a pie person too. I perfected a yeah. mixed berry pie with a crumb topping. Oh, do I'll delicious. make it for all you ladies next time. I didn't awesome. Make oh, I make them all. I love oh, them. Guys, we got to give our freaking orchards orchard. here. Freaking orchards. Uh, our no, I, is orchard. I don't mean to be the party pooper. But we're almost out of time, and we should say thank yous and any announcements. We are. That's, we it. That's you. exactly yeah. what I'm getting to. Um, so we want to thank our crew, Esther, John, and Caitlin. Uh, anybody have any plugs? Uh, north, uh, the um, Hillside Playground is lighted for Christmas. The uh, uh, Reading yes. High School ROTC, okay. 100 volunteers of kids, and um, Spangler, for, Spangler Chrysler, somebody... Um, donated lights and it must be amazing. So it's I would urge everyone. Beautiful. A hundred kids gave a lot of time in nice. school to help. And set they're it up. wonderful yes. kids. So go there, support yes. it. It's a fantastic thing. You yeah. will love it. Okay, so that that's pretty much it. We also have one more plug. Um, Genesius Theater is doing um, Rock of Ages. I don't know exactly when. I know it's the first or second week of December. Love um, show. Go visit geniusdifference.org because it's going to be an awesome show. And, and because happening before before our next show because December will be a 
a, a special thing. Um, it will. Wizard of Oz. That's right, the Wizard January. of Oz. Make sure you get your tickets for that. All right. Thank you for joining us today, Jane. Bye. Bye. Uh, have a good goodness. month, everyone. Do, do we not have Joan in the control no. room?